so swamet's solution of non homogeneous radlom uh, radlom integral equation of the second kind so we are doing this so y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t dt consider that this has one where k of x comma t is continuous this kernel is continuous real and symmetric and lambda is not eigen value so this you all have to remember next next is the statement of hilbert swamet's theorem swamet's theorem so let f of x be generated form from a continuous function y of x by the operator lambda integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t dt where my k of x comma t is continuous real and symmetric so that on the next page okay so that f of x is equal to lambda integral from a to b this is my kernel k of x comma t y of t dt it consider this has to be 2 then f of x can be represented over interval a comma b by the linear combination of the normalized eigen function of homogeneous integral equation next is y of x is equal to lambda integral from a to b k of x comma t y of t dt and this is having the this is as it is kernel okay this now let us take three important cases so we are going to take the important cases now this is my case one okay with the unique solution if lambda is not equal to lambda m then y of x is equal to f of x plus lambda in summation of m then fm upon lambda m minus lambda into qm of x exists uniquely if and only if it does not take n on an eigen value okay so second case two is let lambda is equal to lambda k where lambda k is the kth eigen value and also let f k is not equal to zero that is this will happen so integral of a to b f of x phi k of x dx is not equal to zero then we find that no solution exists and the third case is third and the last case is let lambda is equal to lambda k where lambda k is the kth eigen value and also let f k is equal to zero here my f k was not equal to zero here the, in the third case f k is equal to zero i say that is this will happen integral from a to b f of x phi k of x of dx is equal to zero then y of x is equal to then your this will look like f of x is equal to f sorry y of x is equal to f of x plus a phi k of x plus lambda summation of m this is summation dash then this is m fm upon lambda m minus lambda phi m of x consider this as star and this dash implies that we should neglect m is equal to k in the summation and a is the arbitrary constant my a is the arbitrary constant uh, equation uh, so equation this equation star shows that we arrive at infinitely many solution of given equation so whatever i said i have written it over here you all can take it down this cases i will be using to solve theorem so th this concept i will be using to solve problems and all so for that you all have to watch my next video okay first